What's going on, guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back. Well, you've spoken. I've listened. Here we are. Southern Farms. Uh, yeah, looks awesome. Pretty excited about this, guys. This uh, out won the vote. I think I got a two to one margin almost on anything else that we had up on the poll. So here we are. We're doing what you asked. Steak and Eggs Farm is not dead by any means. I'm hoping to go back, but uh, we're going to wait until the National Relief Team gets out there and fixes up Hurricane Patch 1.3. And until then, we're going to be hanging out down here. Uh, Paragould, Arkansas, I believe, is the name of the town that we're in. I believe that's where it is, at least. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm loving it. <laughs> I see that as I'm looking at a McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, subliminal messaging, much clutch? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, we've got a Walmart across the street down here. We've got... What are we at? we at our Lowe's. We're at a Lowe's. We're doing some shopping and getting some new things. I thought I'd check things out. Uh, we've got some stuff on sale. Look at this. Save 50 bucks on a barbecue? You know what's funny? Okay, we're in Arkansas. That there is like the made in Canada symbol. <laughs> uh, interesting. Where do you guys get your flyers from? Uh, anyways, our farm down here is looking pretty good to start with. It's a great farm to start off on. Lots of potential. We just don't have any equipment really yet. So we got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Uh, we've got a harvester ready to rock. We just got to go pick it up. And we've got some other things that we're going to be doing with on this farm down here. Uh, as for our vehicles, well, here's my truck right now, guys. I figure we've had... Chevys, we've had Dodges. It's better time we go Ford Tough for a bit. Got the Super Duty, the F-350 diesel. Listen to this thing fire. We'll fire it up here in a sec. You can listen to this thing. It sounds great. Of course, it's tuned. Oh, yes. Nice looking ride. Anyways, watch out, dude. Out of the way. Sounds like a train horn. Um, yeah, our farm's just up the road here, just outside of uh, the downtown area. It's a sm fairly small farm, but lots of buildings and shops, but we just need to get some equipment for it. And uh, yeah, we'll get there when we get there, but it's looking pretty good so far. So I was hoping to hang out in town here and grab a coffee and a Timbit. I don't think you're going to find too many Timbits down in Arkansas, but you never know. All right, let's get going. All right, so go. I'll meet you guys back at the farm. We'll take a look around. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what we got so far, guys. Let's pitter powder. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. So, steak and eggs version 2.0. Well, I don't know if it's 2.0, but it's a go. Whatever it's going to be, we haven't quite decided yet. Because let me know what we should do in the comments. Should we go back? continue on steak and eggs should we focus on cattle and chicken i don't know yet let me know what you guys think in the com comments um oh that's a little bit of a rough corner anyways so uh yeah that's one of the things we're thinking about right now as well we got to figure out what crops we're going to plant we got some base crops already set and ready to go here here's our entrance looks pretty good here is our little farmhouse on the right you know what we'll park our truck here for now we'll leave our truck in the driveway perfect thank you Awesome. Leave it there. So this here is our new farm. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of space here. Uh, let's start off with, well, the red shop. This is a fantastic workshop. I've used this. I've seen this shop. Uh, this was up on Felsbrunn. We used this shop for a bit. I'm going to go in the man door over here. But it's been all decked out now. So off we come into our right. We've got, <laughs> it's like a little workshop area. Uh, you can see here. Oh, look at this. The garage version 1.0. Nice. We've got some candies. You guys want a snack? Uh, I don't know. We got parts in here. It looks like we must have parts. Yeah, Massey Ferguson parts. We don't have any Massey tractors or anything. So, anyways, get through here. Uh, in the back, well, we've got our mechanics area, of course. We've got a lift back there. I don't think the lift, the lift works, so does it now? It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, we got a nice fent up on the wall. We don't have any fent tractors either. We don't even have any New Holland. We got all sorts of stuff that we don't have any picture or any equipment of. What do we got up here? First farm, we don't have any internationals either. Eh, I guess we have to do some work on that. Uh, so we got one of our trailers in here, getting some work on done on it with the jaw skin. Uh, yeah, we'll use, leave that in here to get some work done. This here is our smaller tractor. It's the Ford, what is it, the 6600 series? I can't remember what model it is off the top of my head. But nice little tractor. We've got a front bucket on it. Uh, nothing else special with that, but nice little tractor for around the farm. We'll see, we may end up using that more than just that kind of stuff to start off with, especially because we're going to need it. But it's relatively low horsepower. I think we're on 100 horsepower only. And then we just got a bunch of parts up here. Nothing special. All right, let's get back down. 
Ah, let me through the door. We'll shut that up. Now, uh, let's see. We'll start over on here. We'll go across this side over here. We've got some more farm buildings down there. Now, look at this silo system. You can hear the dryers pumping away. Oh, yes. Look at this silo system. This is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. We've got a little office down in here. You can come hang out. You can check our levels. Get a coffee. Does this door open and close? I don't think it does. No, it's static. Um, and then at the back, we'll scooch over here. We've got a well, derelict trailer. We've got some more uh, McCormick signs on the side there. We've got, uh, what is that, an old John Deere sign? Must be a John Deere tractor. Merle's tractor repair. Nice. We've got an old derelict GMC back here. Uh, we got a whole bunch of space here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this space yet, but I mean, we've got a lot of options. Sky's the limit, really, right? What do we got? We've got an international truck. Or not international. Kenny. We've got a Kenny for a truck uh, with a Load King. We've got our flat deck trailer with a New Holland. And we got... We don't even need that. I should have been gone. And then over here, we've got... What do we got? A pickup trailer. Yeah, loading wagon. We've got our fuel spot in the back. And this last shed here has got the last of our tractors up front here. Run faster. Run, Forrest, run. Uh, there we go. So we got a John Deere. It's the 6R. Yeah, 6R. There we go. So we got the 6R and we got a couple cedars and planters here. So really not a lot of equipment yet. Like I said, our harvester is actually at the shop. We got to go pick that bad boy up. But uh, yeah, so this is one of our fields. We got some barley growing still in here. It just seems like whoever had this beforehand weren't doing anything with it. There's no equipment. They didn't sell it with any equipment. Just not much going on. So let's take a quick look at the old map here. So like I said, field three, which is right here, that's ours. Uh, field five is at the front. Let's go over to field one, which should be right behind our farmhouse. It looks like. Let's see if I can get over to it here. Which is basically right here. This is field one, so that's barley as well. So we've got a bunch of barley growing. Uh, this is our biggest field right here. Not exactly big, so we've got some work ahead of us. It's pretty small. We need to get some bigger fields. And then across on the other side is field five. That's over by the pond here. I do love this pond. This pond looks so good. Uh, get through the weeds. Come on. There we go. And this must be wheat or just barley as well. Uh, we got wheat. So, yeah. So, wheat and barley. Nothing really all that exotic as far as uh, fields go right now. And all fairly small. You can kind of see the edge of the field all the way around here. Not big fields by any means. But look at the little pass coming in and out. Looks good. So, we've got uh, three fields. We're almost ready to harvest. We got one ready to harvest right off the bat, but uh, we need to figure out where we're going to go from there. So I'm thinking we, at some point I want to do some cotton. We do have actually a cotton harvester. It's at the shop being worked on right now. We'll take a look at it when we go pick up our uh, our harvester. But the car the cotton harvester is going to stay there for the time being. We need to get some work done to it, I guess. So we're going to leave that there for the time being. But that's something I do want us to uh, make one of these smaller fields into. Maybe a couple. We'll see. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks so good. Um, and what about prices for fields? Now, that's something else we need to look at here. So you can see we own the center area. I'm thinking like even 25 or 15. What's our price going to be? So 375 grand or 800. Oh, ouch. Uh, might be better off going over here. 400 because we can cut that fence off, I think. So, yeah, we got some money. We need to make some money up. We need to make a lot of cash soon. So we'll get to work on this soon, guys. I haven't even checked to see if they've left us anything in our silo yet. That'll be up on deck as well. So let's head down, grab our harvester here right away, because that's uh, really the only thing we can do. Let's get to work. All right, so we got the insurance money uh, from Michigan, at least. So we got a little extra cash to get started with. So we went big with our harvester. Uh, yeah, the harvester's a little on the big side. It's the large John Deere. <laughs> I'm just give you that as a heads up right now, so we can find our way to the shop here. I'm taking the back roads instead of going through town. Uh, in fact, that blue building on our right there, that is the shop. Let's see if I can get there, taking these roads. Ooh, down over here. Look at all the fields over here. So yeah, a lot of these fields are a little on the small side by comparison to what we're used to over on Michigan. Uh, mind you, this is a good sized field right here. We've got some trees out in the middle of it. We have to cut those down, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, so smaller fields than we're used to. So that means, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a lot more different fields, I suppose. 
in order to make the same kind of money we're making on Michigan, that's for sure. Oh. Sugar factory. Nice. All right, there she is. There is the harvester. Nice. So we got the John Deere harvester. Uh, and we've got the header rate rock here as well, as you can see. Let's pull this in. The 790, the S790, we got the big guy. Uh, yeah, we got some big duels in the front. Look at the trailer. We had to put it on the trailer with the extensions on just to get it on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Didn't even get the back of it up. So we'll take care of this. It should be good to go in a bit. A little bit of a work uh, to get it up on this thing, that's for sure. Hopefully there's no cars on our way back. And then, uh, yeah, the header, well... We've got it ready to go as well. It's on it's on a trailer. We'll go bring the, the pickup truck down here and pick that up afterwards. But we're good to go. Let's uh, grab this bad boy. Bad boy! Let's go! Come on. Get up there. Perfect. Alright, so hopefully... Uh, which one was it? Was this side here? There we go. Now it's all the way up. I don't believe I didn't put it all the way up. We don't have our lights on. going to have that on. All right, let's go. We'll take it nice and slow and easy. Slow and steady. We'll get this thing back to the shop here. Oh, man. Looks good. Looks so good. Uh, let's see. What's he doing? Yeah, get going, cement truck. We'll head back the same way we came. Kind of less traffic that way. Stay off the main routes because, uh, well, we are a little wide. We're a little wide. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh man, we've got incoming traffic. Look at that. Oh, that's tight. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll go back by the sugar factory. Let's see if you can you see our farm anywhere. We've got a balloon off in the, in the distance there. That looks kind of cool. Look at that. Cool. Uh, and right after the sugar factory, we go back. I don't even know what direction I'm going anymore, guys. I'm totally lost as far as northwest, east, south is. I know I turn left. That's all I know. Uh, and is it this one? Yeah, it's this road right here. There you go. You can see my tracks. <laughs> we'll just keep on making tracks so that I know where I'm going. Awesome. All right, so we'll go drop this back off at the shop. And then uh, yeah, I'll pick up that header and bring it back with us as well. And then we'll have our, all our equipment left we need. And we can really, you know what? We got that one field that needs to be harvested right away. We might as well get cracking on her. Right? Right? Let's get doing it. Let's do it right now. Um... I just checked our our silos. Oh no, which way do I go? Uh, go left. There's my tracks. Um, I checked our silos. We got zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing in our silos. So that's not going to give us any money. <laughs> we got to start making money right now. And we might as well harvest that field. That's what I'm thinking. So uh, we'll do it right away. Come on. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to go grab the pickup truck, grab that header, and I'll see you back on the farm in a sec. Perfect. Get around the corner. Yes. Okay. Well, at least we got lots of space back here. I don't need to worry about where I'm going to put this too badly. Let's drop this tail end down. Uh, that one there. And that one at the same time. Look at that. We can do it while we're driving. Oh, i got to make sure I don't crash into my own equipment, though. Oh. <sighs> this trailer. I wish they would have put it just as a button instead of having each individual arm as something special. I uh, can't see. Come on. That one's there, and this one here is there. Perfect. Close enough, I think. Good enough for me. Just pull forward a touch here. Leave that to where it is. Awesome. That looks fantastic. Uh, I don't need to worry about that quite yet. Left the lights on, but yeah, whatever. The Kenny's got a good battery. Uh, let's go grab that pickup truck, and we will head back into town and grab the header. All right, we're all loaded up. Uh, I promised I'd show you the, the cotton harvester. It's way back there. You see it's been worked on. They don't want us going back there. So, uh, yeah, anyways, it's getting some work done on it. We'll grab it in a little while. We'll see what happens there. We've got no cotton to be harvested anytime soon. Maybe we'll plant some right away here. Anyways, uh, let's get going. Got the shop right here. It looks good. looks good. All right, let's rock and roll. Uh, let's see, you guys are pulling in here, are you? Now this truck is actually probably one of the fastest trucks I think I've ever driven. Uh, let's put a foot down here. There we go. Awesome. 
We'll get going back to the, uh, the farm with this header. Oh, I don't want to go too fast with this header, though. It's a bit sketchy. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to turn anymore. Let's just pull it. Turn up in here. Can I go between these fields? Perfect. Eesh. Yeah. I, oh, man, that's a big ditch. Did not see that. All right. So you can kind of see our farm straight ahead there. I believe that red building is actually the workshop. And I always get confused right in here which way to go. So I'm going to go... Let's go right this time. I think we can get there if we go right. All right, there we go. We're pulling back in. Perfect. I do love this entrance to this farm. It looks so good. Kind of meanders in along the field. We've got our pond off on the left-hand side here. Looks fantastic. And we'll just pull around the back side here. Drop this off and we can go grab our harvester. Excellent. Yeah, this is tight getting in here, but once you get back on this side, we got so much more space. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. You know what? I'll just leave it connected to the truck for the time being. Turn that off. Let's go grab our harvester here. Go connect in. And uh, you know what? I don't even know if we're going to need to tip into anything, to be perfectly honest. I think we can do this with just one... Uh, with the harvester. I don't, I don't think we're going to need to grab anything else. But there's only one way to find out. All right. Let's grab that. Boom. Perfect. Unfold. All right, let's go grab this field. It's right beside us here. Perfect. Like I said, really small fields. Yeah, we're not going to need to unload this at all. It'll be totally fine. We'll do one pat one uh, one harvester load. We can dump this ourselves. That makes life pretty easy. Look at those birds. Get out of here. All right, perfect. We're making straw because we're gonna need the we're gonna need the, the uh, we're gonna need those bales. That's for sure. We're definitely gonna need some bales just to get the extra money out of this. Since we're gonna be making money off of the uh, this wheat, yeah, the wheat. Oh, I love it. Look at now we can actually see what we're getting instead of just the symbols. Um, yeah, we need the money from the wheat, but we're also gonna need the money from the bales. So that's gonna be something we need to buy right away as well to bale this stuff up as soon as possible. Because we need the money as much as we can get, and otherwise it's just not going to cut it. The wheat is not worth it without doing the bales as well. So we'll do that as well and sell it all off. Perfect. Oh, it looks so good. Just pile it out. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, we're going to keep on working away on this. Uh, not too much more to do. Like I said, this will only take us a couple minutes to do, really, in the grand scheme of things. I bet you I do two circles around here, and we will be good to go. All right, so I'm at, what, a third right now? Not quite. Not even about a quarter. 20%. Never mind. 27%. I can read that now. Uh, and we did one pass. You know what? We might need to go dump this beforehand. Eh, I might be mistaken. Anyways, we'll do that if we have to, but you know what? Our silo's right there. We can do that ourselves. We don't even need a tractor over here. That's fine. All right, so we'll finish this off, and I'll catch up with you guys once I get it wrapped up. All right, so I might have been way off on the amount I needed. Um, it's already, <laughs> it's almost full already. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we went to grab the Ford and the Jaskin, and we're gonna take care of this right now. This truck is heavily underpowered, or this trailer. Oh, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? Ah, this field is kind of sideways. Look what the AI is doing. That is horrible. <laughs> oh, man, you think I was driving this thing? All right, well, we're going to do this manually. That's all right. We'll pull off the side here. And we'll just do it ourselves. Do it live. All right. You are useless. Out of the way. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Thank you. And we'll have to do this ourselves. Fantastic. Yeah, so whenever the fields are just a touch off, I thought we had it good. But the field itself is at a bit of a diagonal on the sides. Uh, it's kind of a parallelogram of sorts. So that is part of the problem. So he does not know what to do with it. Which means I have to do it. Ah, useless. You can't find good help nowadays. All right. Trying to be a keener, and doesn't work out for us. So I was hoping we could just drop this straight off. Yeah, this is a bigger field than I thought. I mean, it's going to take two drops at least. That's not bad. We're getting quite a bit off that, so I'll take it. 
Anyways, we'll continue working here. It looks like we're stuck doing it ourselves. No help for us. So back to work. That's it. That's all. First harvest completed. Perfect. Let's drop this in. Drop it in. Uh, I think that's going to fit. Right there. Perfect. Hopefully this fits everything. Uh, I hope I don't need to drop another one in. We'll see. Well, maybe I do, because that means I get more money, right? So, yeah. Maybe I should hope for more. <laughs> yeah, let's empty this out, and then we'll just go park this for the time being, and we'll drop it into our silo. See how that all works out. It's a nice-looking silo system they've got on this map. Really excited about that on this farm. That thing looks so cool. Perfect. And that's it. That's all. Hold this bad boy up. Uh, there we go. Come on. Fold that for me. I know you want to. There we go. Let that all fold up. Shut her down for the time being. And let's go grab our Ford here. And we'll head back. Oh yeah, this tractor is way underpowered for this load. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. I should have grabbed the, uh, the John Deere, but it was sitting right beside it. Let's see. Look at those front tires just spinning. Back tires trying to get traction. Come on, let's go. There we go. Get some speed up. There we go. We're good now. We're good now. I thought we were going to get stuck for a second there. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> All right. Make sure I don't put her into the drink while we're down here. Oh, man. The struggle is real. <laughs> it's so real. Come on, baby. Get in there. This poor Ford. <laughs> First day on the farm, and I'm like, yeah, let's work you. Right to the bone. All right. There we go. Do, 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 do. Stop. Look at that. Look at the wheat. Awesome. That looks so good. Now, it's going to be tough to do any kind of double or triple dumps onto this, uh, this silo system, but... Perfect. So we drop that off there, and I believe this here should be our pickup location when we so desire. Uh, let's take a look. There we go. 24,000 liters. All right. That works for me. We'll go put this back away. We'll put it back in the shop. I know uh, some of the guys were working on it. I don't know what they needed to do. That's why I just kind of grabbed it. I'm sure it was fine, right? Did our job for us. Now, I was just thinking about that as well. I wanted to bring the harvester in there. If I wanted to just dump freight from the harvester without... Uh, putting into a tipper first that would have been pretty difficult on that particular silo system i don't think i could do it i don't think it's possible i think i would have been uh, in a little bit of trouble there that would have been a mistake not that i don't make mistakes but <laughs> all right put this back in the shop for the time being it's not a permanent storage point but whoa 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 easy easy it's a good place for it to sit while they get some work done on it perfect drop that there and you know what? We'll put our tractor in there as well. Uh, you know what? We're probably going to need the bale forks next. So I'll spin it around. Look at me thinking ahead. Wow, who was that? Come on, baby. No, oh, into the side of the wall. All right, perfect. Awesome. Ah, uh, she did good. She did good. <laughs> An old Ford. Close this up. I'll get outside. We'll close that up. Fantastic. All right, well, let's go grab the harvester. I'll put that away. And uh, yeah, that's going to really do it for our first day on the farm. All right, the harvester is put away for now. I think we'll see stored over here for the time being. I just got to get this header stuck someplace so I don't lose it. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just put it over here so it's kind of out of the way at least. Come on. Oh, man, that thing's a little bit longer than I was anticipating. That's fine. Let's stay right there. That's great. Right underneath the tree. Uh, is that our field here? I don't think this one's ours, is it? No, it's not. That's field 7. Looks like a good sized field too, actually. Anyways, uh, let's head back. Head back home. That's a pretty good first day. I'm happy with that. I just love the look of this farm. It's a great looking farm out here. Uh, let's zip through here. Alright, perfect. But uh, really excited to, uh, to dive into this one, guys. This should be good. Should be good. Let's just leave this over here. Perfect. I do want to thank Nubu Goofin. Uh, he's the one who actually kind of started off this map for me in a sense. Uh, he was the first one I saw doing a video on it. So go check out Nubu Goofin. I'll leave the link in the description. 
and uh, yeah you can go check his video out on it he's doing a whole series on it as well so go check it out look we even got the alberta flag with the american flag there you know what that had to happen didn't it <laughs> you knew that had to happen anyways guys thanks for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like if you didn't drop a dislike and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already anyways that's it for us today hope to see you next time this is clutch over and out Thank you.